Uh, good morning. I'm here on Mill Road, 20 Mill Road in Calverton. This house has been taken by the county for back taxes, but it's in such terrible condition that the town, in an agreement with the county, is taking this town, uh, house down today. It's a blight on the neighborhood. It's been vacant for many years, and it has major, major code deficiencies. I'm joined today by legislator Al Krupski and us, legislator Jim Mazzarella. And they're here because the town and the county have what's called an IMA, an intermunicipal agreement. So when the county took this house for back taxes, they came to the town and said, okay, we'll work with you, we'll get this down, this is a blight. We have some of the neighbors here, I'm waving to them. How you doing, guys? Um, and they're all happy to see this go. And so am I. And once it's gone, it will become part of the county's Nature Preserve Open Space Program. It backs up on the Peconic River, which is the dividing line between Brookhaven and Riverhead. But this is in Brookhaven. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to the legislator from this area, Al Krupski. Thank you, Supervisor Romaine. You know, I appreciate the collaboration, and this is government working together at different levels, having the town come in and do this work on county-owned property. It's really important for the community here. As you drive through here, this community down this road, you never really think that this would be happening on this beautiful road with all this preserved land on both sides of the road, including the Peconic River. So I want to thank uh, County Real Estate. I want to thank the guys from the Brookhaven town, the workers who are actually going to tear the house down. And, um, you know, thank my colleague um, at the Horseshoe, Jim Mazzarella, who, uh, for being here today. It's very important that everybody work together on this. And I want to thank my staff, Catherine Starks here, Gwen Schroeder, and John Stiper in the office. They worked, they worked diligently on this since, since May. This has, been, this has been an issue. And I want to thank uh, Alyssa Tuttle for being a very patient neighbor. Good morning. I'll just echo uh, what my colleague, my, both my colleagues, uh, Supervisor Romaine and uh, Legislator Krupski had said. Uh, when this came on the radar screen, uh, Legislator Krupski uh, immediately contacted us and, you know, asked for assistance. Um, coming from the 3rd District um, and working along with the town and demoing a lot of homes in that area for similar reasons, uh, we knew right away we had to jump on board and, uh, and, and come and assist uh, the legislator in this area because uh, we do a good amount of demos in our district for similar reasons and it's, uh, it's just really to preserve quality of life and to uh, make sure that you know homes like this uh, don't become a blight for the area and uh, and just to main, maintain the safety of the of the community. So we're happy to be here this morning. Happy that the neighbors are here and we can get this done for them. And I want to thank the uh, construction crew as well from Brookhaven Town and also my staff uh, member uh, Tim Rothang for uh, uh, always backing us up on all this. And uh, and again, um, thanks to Legislator Krupski and uh, Supervisor Romaine in this. Uh, concerted effort. Thank you. I'll end by again thanking our, our staff from Waste Management. Right, guys? There they are. Because they do a great job. Melinda's even here. How are you? Um, they do a great job. And at this point, uh, the town has taken down uh, in the last few years over 500 blighted houses. So um, it's a lot of blighted houses that we've taken down. This is one blight that will end, but it has a magnificent view of the Peconic River. One, one oh. more thing, my staff remind me, this is in the Pine Barrens core. This is not a house that could have been sold on the open market because of the Pine Barrens law. So this is the reason that, one of the reasons that we're doing this and it will be restored to its natural state. So thank you. Now, sorry about that. No, fantastic. Hey, I, I'm on the Pine Barrens Commission. So you're absolutely right. We want to see houses that are blighted like this come down and return to its natural state. Let's go, guys. Let's get this house down.